Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey and this is Trigonometry as part of my IGCSE exam questions series. If you do find this video useful, please do like and subscribe. Now let's get into the maths. Okay, first thing to do is to label the sides. So there's the angle, so this is the opposite. There's the right angle, so that's the hypotenuse. And this, therefore, must be the adjacent. Now, the sides that we're looking for are uh, PQ, which is this one here. And we have the adjacent. So A and H means I need to use cosine. So I draw my triangle, and I write cosine of the angle is A over H. And because I'm looking for H, it means I cover up that part of the triangle. And that tells me that H is equal to A over cosine of the angle. So substituting in, H is uh, PQ, which is what we're looking for. And A is 24.3. And that's over cosine of the angle, which is 63. So I go to my calculator and I just type in fraction button 24.3 over cosine of 63, close brackets, equals. And it gives me 53.5. Uh, next question, I need to work out EG, which is this side here. Let's call it X. Uh, and if I look at that triangle, um, I don't have much to go on, really. I've just got the side I'm looking for, an angle, but I don't have another side. So I need to look at this triangle here in order to work out the side length EF, which we'll call Y. And once I know that, then I can use the second triangle. Okay, so let's label the sides. We have opposite the angle. We have opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. And we have here is the adjacent. The sides that I have is H, and the side that I'm looking for is A. So that's cosine. So I draw a triangle and I write cosine of the angle is A over H. I'm looking for A, so I cover A, and that means that I need to multiply the two at the bottom to get A. So I write A is equal to cosine of the angle times by H. So in this case, our A is, we labeled Y, cosine of the angle is cosine of 40, multiplied by H, which is 12. So I go to my calculator and I type cosine of 40, close brackets, times by 12, and that's equal to 9.12. Sorry, 9.19. Okay, now I can look at my, um, my second triangle over here. I know what this is now, 9.19. And I have the angle, so this is now the opposite. And there's the right angle, so this is the hypotenuse. And finally, this is the adjacent. So the side that I have is the opposite, and the side that I'm looking for is the adjacent. So that means I need to use the tan triangle, O and A. And I'm looking for A, so I cover the adjacent. And that tells me if I want to work out A, I need to do the opposite over tan of the angle. The opposite is 9.19, and we have tan of 28. So that goes into our calculator. I can press fraction button. I can press answer because that is stored the last answer which is 9.19, and I can go tan of 28, close brackets, equals 17.28, so 17.3. And that is centimetres. Okay, um, slightly tricky question here. I need to work out this angle in here. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to need to know what the base and the height of this overall triangle is. And at the moment, that is 8, is what I know. 
So it'd be very useful if I was to know this, let's call it x in here. So I can use the smaller triangle in order to work out that x. Um, there's the angle, so that's the opposite. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. So the side length which I am looking for is the opposite, and the one that I have is the adjacent. So I will use tan, and I write tan of uh, the angle is equal to O over A. And I'm looking for O, so I cover that. So to find the opposite here, I do tan of the angle multiplied by A. And the opposite, we've labeled X, and we have tan of the angle 20 multiplied by 13. So we go into our calculator and we do tan of 20, close brackets, times by 13. And that gives me 4.73. Okay, that's good. Now what I'm able to do is look at the overall triangle. And that triangle looks like this. 13 and 8 plus 14 points. Uh, 8 plus 4.7 is 12.7 uh, down that side there. So I can work out this angle in here. Let's call it theta. And I have the opposite and the adjacent. So I'm going to be using tan again. But this time I am looking for the angle. So I cover tan theta. And that tells me that tan theta is equal to the opposite which is 12.73 over the adjacent, which is 13. So on my calculator, to work out theta, I will do tan to the minus 1 of 12.73 over 13. And that gives me 44.4. .4. But we're not quite finished because BAC is just this angle in here and I've worked out the total angle so I need to take away 20 in order to get the bit that I actually need so that'll be 24.4 perfect okay next question we're asked to work out the perimeter of the trapezium so I know this side and I know this side uh, but I don't know this side or this side so that's a bit of an issue um, so what I need to do and what makes this question quite tricky is I've got to draw my own line in. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular down there to create a right angle triangle and a rectangle. Now of course this rectangle on the bottom would be uh, 21.2 up to here. So now what I'll need to do is I'll need to work out, um, let's call this one X and this one Y. Uh, I have an angle and I need another side and that side is going to be 16.7 which is going to be this height here. That side there is the opposite. This side is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent. So let's first try and find the adjacent and I will use tan to do that. So I'll do tan of the angle O over A and I'm looking for the adjacent, so I cover the adjacent, and that tells me that x, the adjacent, is equal to the opposite, 16.7, over the hypotenuse, uh, sorry, opposite over tan of the angle. So that goes into my calculator, 16.7 over tan of the angle, and I get 17.9. Okay, now how can I work out why? Well, I could use Pythagoras because now I've got two sides, but seeing this is a trigonometry video, I'm going to use trigonometry. Uh, and I'm going to use sine, because I don't think I've used sine yet. So sine of theta, and then we've got O over H. I'm looking for the hypotenuse, so I cover up the hypotenuse. So that tells me the hypotenuse, which I've labelled y, is equal to the opposite, 16.7, over tan 
uh, sorry, sine of the angle 43. So I would do 16.7 uh, over uh, sine of 43. And that gives me 24.5. So the total perimeter is equal to 21.2 times 2, because there are two of them, plus 16.7 there, plus x and y, which is 17.9 and 24.5. So I do 24.5, I'll plus on 17.9, I will plus on 16.7, and I'll plus on 21.2 twice. And I'll get 101.5. So three significant figures, actually, that's 101.4. The four won't round up, so it's just 101 centimetres. And here we have a tricky question. So you've got five of these shapes, and it's asking you to work out the perimeter of the total shape. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find all the sides of this triangle. So the side that I do know is the opposite. So let's try and find out the uh, hypotenuse and the adjacent. Uh, I'll start with the adjacent, which means I have the O and I'm looking for the A, which means I need to use tan. So tan is O over A. And I'm looking for the A, so I'm going to have to do um, the opposite which is 12.8 over tan of 72. Uh, 12.8 over tan of 72. And that gives me 4.15. Oh, sorry, 4.16. And next we can find the hypotenuse, and I will do that by uh, using Pythagoras' theorem. So that will be the square root of 12.8 squared plus the last answer squared. And that will be 13.5. So that's 13.5, and this one is 4.16. Okay, now we can look at um, the hypotenuse, sorry, the, um, the perimeter. So we have five of these, and those are all the 12.8s, um, uh, so five times 12.8, and we also have uh, one, two, three, four, five of these. And they are all the hypotenuse. So five times the hypotenuse, 13.5 minus 4.16. Okay, so let's just put it into our calculator and that's gonna give us the answer. So it's five times 12.8 plus five times 13.5, which is the hypotenuse, minus the short side, and that's going to give us that purple distance. And we get an answer of 110.7, which to three significant figures is 111. And we're done. Thanks for watching. If you found that useful, please do like and subscribe and watch the next video in the series. Bye for now.